Super Bowl weekend, and Demetrius is up north checking out the big screens for the big game. He's also going to check on the weather. Hey, D. Yeah, yeah, you guys can tell. I got my priorities straight, right? The big game, the Super Bowl, means that it's time to look at TVs. Would you know that uh, this is actually when folks buy the most TVs for the Super Bowl? So we are at Apt here. Uh, you can see the atrium, the beautiful fountain. This is whatever. I love this because this is what you can do to uh, distract your family so they don't know exactly how much you're spending <laughs> uh, when you're here. So we're going to hear about some of the good TVs, some of the new stuff that's out, uh, some of the new electronics that are out just in time for the Super Bowl. But uh, honestly, we just came here because it's a guy's paradise. Me and Sean. Sean, you wanted this, right? Oh, don't lie. All right, let's take a look at the forecast. Hey, it's been terrible, right? We have had no rain, but we have uh, basically seen no sun for some time. As a matter of fact, as we look at the, our, our potential sunshine, 25% for the month of January. You know, there have been eight sunless days, a uh, little bit of sun for us uh, this afternoon, but certainly not much. It's the third cloudiest January on record. So really uh, just kind of a dreary month. But this is going to change for us in the upcoming uh, weekend. Hillside, we're up to about 35 degrees. Uh, elsewhere in uh, Chicago, we're at 38. Palos Heights reading at 37. Harvard reading at 31. Sycamore at 32. Glen Ellen 33. And Sandwich is currently at 33 also. The Field Museum, look from the Field Museum. You know, there was snow there earlier today. Could have slowed you down earlier this morning. Not the case now. We're looking at dry conditions, and uh, we are going to have the potential for some very light snow, kind of mixed in with rain during the overnight. Little or no accumulation expected, but you can see here uh, in Bloomingdale, there was snow earlier on the parking lot, but now things have basically cleared out. Here's the satellite radar composite. As an upper-level disturbance moves through, we continue to see that snow across portions of eastern Iowa. I do expect for us to have a little bit of a rain-snow mix, which will come our way tonight, but really nothing serious. Matter of fact, here's the snowfall forecast. Uh, don't reach for the shovels just yet. We're not going to go look at the snowblower section. We're expecting to see uh, very little in terms of uh, accumulating snow. All right, coming up in the seven-day forecast, we're going to talk about temperatures, which will warm up in a big way. Ben and Lourdes, how about this? As promised, low 50s in time for Super Bowl Sunday. Also, I'm going to be taking your uh, requests here. I mean, I got the company credit card here. It's oh, next yeah. star. Whoa, you know, they got whoa, deep whoa. pockets. So, You're going to uh, buy us a TV? Whatever you want. Mm. Wow. One of those nice oh, black and white I mean, tube I figure jobs. It's gonna... yep. You can tell he's would, not paying, Wouldn't it be right? a tax write-off? Uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Let me work on that for you. All right. Thank you, D. We'll talk to you a little bit later. Thank Up you. Next